Alright, so today we're going to be playing around with Mission Planner's Auto Waypoint Create Spline Circle feature for use with Arducopter Firmware 3.2. Very nice function uh, to get some smooth video, climbing and circling video um, of whatever feature you'd like to film. The um, function basically creates a spline navigation smooth circle uh, with different st altitude steps and it automatically creates a region of interest point for the um, camera or the aircraft itself to focus on throughout the flight plan. Right, this is uh, basically how our final flight plan is going to look like. I'll show you now how to set this up and then we're going to go out and test out uh, in the real world. Alright, so let's clear this mission. Um, there we go. So, first off, uh, my, my idea is going to be to launch uh, from this little pathway here next to this lighthouse um, mm. it's quite close to, to where I live and um, then we're gonna fly out uh, to around here and let it hover for about uh, let's make it about 10 seconds or so just for demonstration purposes um, I'll probably increase that to 30 seconds just so that I uh, once I get a, a, to the field just to make sure I can walk up and around the area uh, before it starts the mission so I can keep an eye on the, the drone uh, throughout the flight plan alright and like I said as always I put in a little delay in any way uh, just to make sure that the auto function is working after we've taken off and stabilized so I put it in GPS Lloyd to make sure that's working then uh, auto delay for the first waypoint then we start the flight plan from there alright so now I've got a first point there just to Get, have some time to move around before the mission starts then uh, as you can see the little red cross here in the middle of the map screen and mission planner we center that on where we want the auto spline circle to be created so I want the focus point to be um, the lighthouse tower itself alright so we want it about there and uh, then we're going to right click auto waypoint create spline circle and get a little pop up window uh, we want the radius to be about 20 meters. I want it to be well clear of the, the buildings and the higher terrain here. Alright, so let's make that about 20 meters. And minimum altitude. Um, from what I've worked out uh, around the lighthouse here, uh, I want 21 meters above my launch point. That gives a nice uh, minimum altitude uh, to clear the the building below the tower and uh, as well as any of the terrain around the area so remember the, the altitude here is the altitude a, a relative altitude above where you've launched um, so just always keep in mind uh, if you do fly over higher terrain and you're not using a verify height function of mission planner so we've got a mission uh, altitude minimum altitude 21 meters uh, we want it to go up to a max of about 70 meters or so and uh, we want the altitude step is basically um, how many meters it's going to climb through each circle, full circle. And we want a nice upwards mo motion in the video. So we'll make for each uh, circle it needs to climb 30 meters in the altitude step. All right, and we'll leave the angle of the first point at zero. All right, as you can see, it creates a nice auto spline circle here. Um, I'm still playing around with it, fine-tuning it, and seeing what works and what doesn't. Um, but for today's demonstration, we'll just leave it as is, without uh, messing around with it. Alright, so basically, um, what it's going to do, the fur it's going to take off, we're going to fly it to here in GPS Loiter, uh, make sure it's working, activate the auto flight, and with about a 30 second delay, uh, in our case, just so that I can move around, and onto the lighthouse building itself and uh, keep an eye on the drone while it's doing the flight plan alright and then from there it will start the ROI circle or the spline circle with the region of interest as you can see it's generated a little region of interest marker where we've uh, started we've centered the circle on and uh, the first circle itself will be a 21 meter above ground level circle and then after the first circle is completed it will start climbing at 30 meters per full circle um, as you can see here 
in the waypoint list. Uh, from around waypoint 8, it's all hidden behind uh, one another here. It'll be 21 meters first circle, then it starts climbing um, a nice smooth spline climb around um, the lighthouse. Up to maximum 70 meters and uh, well this one works out to about 84 meters with spline navigation so always just keep an eye on your altitudes with the spline features and make sure it still clears all um, obstacles throughout the flight plan. Alright then it's going to end up again it's going to fly uh, clockwise three circles basically um, starting off uh, 21 meters first circle climbing up to about 50 or so meters and then uh, 84 meters it'll be the final altitude at the end of the third circle then once it's out there we're just going to make it fly back um, to around this area and uh, we'll select the last waypoint as return to launch and then from there we can always take it over back into GPS loiter uh, once it's stabilized uh, above the landing area and uh, landed and switched back to stabilize from there and then landed manually like that all right so very nice feature we're going to go test it out now very nice uh, especially for for buildings and uh, towers and and all that kind of thing to get some nice smooth um, video focused on the object um, so yeah let's uh, let's go and play around with it all right so here we're taking off in stabilized mode uh, at the St. Blaise Lighthouse in Mossel Bay, South Africa. As you can see, it's quite a beautiful day. Uh, visibility, very good. Took off and stabilized and uh, put it into GPS loiter mode. Just to make sure that the stabilized function and loiter functions are both working properly. And before we put it into auto, I had uh, spent a little bit of time just cross-checking my altitudes uh, to make sure my planned obstacle clearance altitudes and actual altitudes on the day uh, matched up before putting it into auto. So as you can see we've put it into auto mode here and um, with that 30 second delay at the first waypoint this gave me time uh, to walk up to the lighthouse uh, building itself and to keep an eye on the aircraft throughout the flight plan. Heading to waypoint 3. And here she goes now. Um, going to enter the spline Heading circle and keeping the lighthouse as the region of interest in the center. You can see me running there around uh, the lighthouse itself just to make sure I keep an eye on the aircraft all, the, th all throughout the flight plan. As you can see nice smooth motion throughout the circle. Heading to waypoint six. Heading to waypoint 7. Heading to waypoint 9. And as you can see in the shadows, uh, the seagulls were quite interested in the quadcopter, seeing this thing flying around their airspace. Uh, you'll see them in a moment in Heading front of the aircraft itself, where they kind of mock charge, uh, so to speak, a couple of times. And you can see as well. After the first circle was completed, uh, level 21 meters above the launch point, um, at the start of the second circle, she started climbing at uh, 30 meters per full circle, getting a nice smooth climb um, with the region of interest Heading staying in the middle. With a bit of playing around, you can get quite uh, quite nice video out of out of this function and out of the spline navigation Heading function. Heading to waypoint 13. General. Heading to waypoint 14. Also, as you can see around the edges of the uh, footage itself, uh, a little bit of fogging happening in the GoPro case. I'll uh, either get some anti-fog inserts uh, for the GoPro or get a Heading skeleton case uh, that isn't sealed completely uh, just to let the heat out from the, the camera as it starts running with the cold air outside of the case. Heading to waypoint 17. Heading to waypoint 18.
heading to waypoint 19.